The political winds are at Republicans' backs tonight because of all of this and more with less than a week to go until Election Day, according to analysis from Gallup. Look at this. A new, a new poll from the company found just 17 percent of Americans are satisfied with the way things are going in the country. That is the lowest satisfaction has ever been since Gallup started measuring it four decades ago. And the polling company's analysis shows the lower that number, the more seats the president's party typically loses in the midterm elections. For example, when satisfaction was just 22 percent 12 years ago under President Obama, the second lowest ever, Democrats lost more than 60 congressional seats. And a new poll from The Wall Street Journal shows one key group is dramatically shifting its support away from Democrats. Over just the past two months, nearly one third of white suburban women say they flipped their support to the GOP. Democrats are making a final push to win over voters in Arizona, where they're neck and neck in two big races for governor and Senate. CBC senior congressional correspondent Elon Moy live in Scottsdale. Elon. Well, Jeff, we heard our first campaign ad. As soon as we turn on the radio here in Arizona, there are political signs littering the main road. And right now, the focus is on Carrie Lake, the Republican candidate for governor. She just wrapped up a campaign event here in Scottsdale. And when she walked on stage, the crowd stood up and cheered. She talked about the border, crime, education, and, of course, election security. Now, Lake has questioned the results of the 2020 presidential election and repeated false claims of election fraud. So I asked her to respond to President Biden's speech tonight on protecting democracy and the threat of what the White House calls election deniers. But in this new ad from the mother of the Capitol Hill police officer who died the day after the January 6th attack, the mother of the police officer laid the blame for her son's death directly at Lake's feet. Carrie Lake is very dangerous for our country. She saw what happened on January 6th and continues to spread the big lie. And we're going to have more violence because people, they believe whatever she says. Now, Lake's opponent, Democrat Katie Hobbs, has characterized this race as a choice between chaos and between sanity. Now, right about now, Hobbs is holding a roundtable with Latino voters. Later on, she'll be part of that big rally with former President Obama and the rest of the state's Democratic ticket. The Democratic senator of Arizona, Mark Kelly, is locked in his own tight battle with Republican challenger Blake Masters. Now, Masters has also questioned the results of the 2020 presidential election, and he was at that campaign event with Lake. When Masters brought up President Obama, Shep, the crowd booed. Clearly, Arizona has become the epicenter of America's political divide. Elon Moy on a beautiful late afternoon in Scottsdale.